death be not proud. What's up, you riding, book burning, Marxist bundles of sticks, holy diver here today, and I've got a little bit of a bench update. I haven't been doing too much in the hobby. Uh, I've been doing a lot more gameplay uh, lately. Uh, last week went over, played a game of 40k, uh, 50 power, orcs, as usual. Uh, I'm, I'm underwhelmed with the game, but the game has its moments. It's not the greatest game in the world, it's not the worst game in the world. Sometimes it's uh, quite fun. Other than that, uh, I played it my first game of Pike and Shot, so you'll see the prelude of what my forces looked like in this video before we actually get to the battle report. So I've got a, I've got a huge release schedule that I've got to get done. I've also got to make uh, two more movie reviews for the month of October, so I'm, I'm pretty pressed there. I lost a weekend because I had to work Saturday, so my Macedonian phalangites, uh, they just got to... I just gotta hit the highlights on the bases there and do the, the thick mud, but this is what they're gonna look like and everything. And uh, I'm actually really proud with how they turned out. They are a bit more time consuming than your standard uh, hoplite. Way more time consuming, but it's not that bad. And uh, this is the only dwarf I have left to paint, which I'll mention in the, in the uh, showcase. So. Other than that, I have to get the uh, the bat the skull pass terrain feature itself done, and then uh, hopefully I can at least play one game of night goblins versus dwarves. And you know, I think that's a that's a problem in the hobby today is that people don't do a project in Warhammer or miniature collecting as a labor of love. They don't pick two armies that they like the lore between the two of them and there are, there isn't a more bitter rival than greenskins and stunties in the entire warhammer universe i mean i guess you could say dark elves and elves dark elves and high elves but i i think that the hatred between night goblins greenskins and uh dwarfs just runs a little bit deeper the stories are better written there and everything and it's you you got a lot of fluff in there that you can really immerse yourself in so uh the army itself is standing at about three thousand points and uh i just finished the last 20 slayers so that's kind of why they're getting the showcase video today so um other than that i've got to work on terrain and i kind of uh got to finish these 10 ghouls and I've got nine French knights upstairs for the Hundred Years' War that I've got to paint. So right now I don't have a lot of projects at the end of the year. It's really good. Uh, I got my first 20 phalangites done before fall. These guys have been just sitting on my desk and I'm getting sick and tired of looking at them. I'm about ready to smash them with a hammer because I'm all out of summer grass. Uh, this is all the summer grass I have left. So if you have some Warlord Games summer grass, Send me some summer grass because I need to finish up the rest of my phalangites because I can't use anything but uh, summer grass on account of uh, this is a magnum opus project. When I whenever I do my Greeks, I I'm, I'm kind of bringing eighty percent of the best that I've got to bring to the project. So um, some of them are getting decals, some of them aren't getting decals, as you've seen there, as you've seen in the last showcase video when I did both of my hoplite armies and everything, and you saw all that. Uh, for the Macedonians themselves, I'm going to get a bunch of Vitrix plastic cavalry. I'm going to sell a whole bunch of my uh, older stuff because it's dated. I've had it for years, and uh, quite frankly, I can I could use the money right now. Why not? I mean, uh, just uh, that's all money in the bank, and that's exactly where I'd like it to be. So... Um, other than that, you know, somebody might be able to get a use out of them more so than I would. So, but when I think about doing a labor of love, that's what the dwarf uh, army was, and that's what the skull pass is, and that's why I kept my night goblins even after a bunch of my orcs got stolen way back in the day. Um, I since recovered. I have like four, I have like three thousand points worth of orcs proper again. But the night goblins were their own standing army, so uh, it'll be interesting to see them on the table and uh, play out a few games with the night goblins versus dwarves. Hopefully, some one of my friends is brave enough to come out and play. I, I don't care what they play. I'll play either side, um, but uh, I want to do at least three games in Skull Pass. So. Gonna finish the terrain feature there, gonna finish two more tables, and uh, 
that's about where I'm at. Low, low amount of models to paint, and I'm perfectly happy with that because I could, I tell you, I could use a break before starting a big project again, whether it be uh, Normans for Crusading Era, Saracens, or uh, Napoleonics. I, I could use a good break because I don't, I don't want anything bogging me down, and depending on my workload this winter, I, I don't know if I'm going to go back to school or if I'm going to uh, lie low this winter. I did just buy a pickup truck, so I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm like, a third of me wants to work this whole winter, a third of me wants to go to school, a third of me wants to do nothing. That's the pie right there. So, with all that said, uh, let's get into the dwarves and uh, have fun with the showcase. Alright, so we're going to start with the characters for this army. Over here, we got our Dwarf Lord. About one of the only things I'm missing is another alternate Lord. I have a pewter one with huge wings on his head. But uh, this is pretty much good enough to start out with. you got a Dwarf Lord. He's carrying the magnificent armor of Boric Beetlebrow. And that gives him a 2 plus and a 3 plus ward save against strength 6 and higher, which is pretty useful in a challenge and everything. Down here we got a Thane BSB, this guy. He's rocking the Master Rune of Valyea, and that's just a plus two to dispel uh, on dispel attempts, so I'll be plus four. And then I also get to end any remains in play spells on like a four plus or something. And then down here we got another Thane. This guy, he's armed with two runes of iron which gives him plus one wound, plus one toughness, and he's got a great weapon for 116 points. He's the guy at the big red shield. I know he's not WYSIWYG, but you know, you work with luck. Blah, blah, blah. Over here, we got our runesmith. He's also sporting a great weapon. He's got the rune of stone. It's just plus one to his Gromwell, Gromwell armor save. So he's got a three up instead of a four up. And he's got two runes of spell breaking. And uh, those are just the spell scrolls. And then over here we got Ulrich the Demon Slayer! And this old homeboy, he's got the the rune of Ulrich Al the Mad, and uh, that just uh, denies armor saves, and that's a master rune. Then he's got the rune of speed and the rune of pairing, and that's on his... All three of those runes are on his weapon. You can put up the three wound. You can only have one master rune, but you can craft a pretty handy weapon. So I'm thinking at initiative six, Weapon skill 7, minus 1 to be hit, because of the rune of pairing, he'll be somewhat formidable in taking a cavalry charge. Now, he's not going to kill a lot of... He's not going to take on an entire unit of cavalry, but he just might cripple a unit of Chaos Knights before they come in. And uh, that's basically my... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, my characters. Oh, forgot. Up here... We just have a Dwarf Master Engineer, and uh, this guy has the uh, handgun, and that's about all he's carrying. I didn't give him any any, any upgrades. Uh, he can't take a great weapon, which would be cool if he had a Strength 6 attack, but he's just got a handgun and BS4. Plus, he can use, if he's within 6 inches of a cannon, you can re-roll your, uh, your first shot, which, uh, but you cannot re-roll your bounce. And the Rune of Forging allows you to re-roll your first shot, but you can't re-roll the bounce. And those are the cannons. And all of that with the characters is 1,168 points. Starting from the extreme left, we have just warriors with great weapons, 23 of them. This is kind of going to be the Lord's unit, so a bodyguard thing's going to go in there, and a Lord's going to go in there. And uh, you're going to have two strength six weapons going up front all the time. Not to mention, the turn you charge, your great weapons get plus one to strength, so instead of being strength five, you're strength six. Then you have a unit of warriors, basically sword and board. Nothing to bring home about. That'll be the runesmith's unit and the battle standard bearer's unit, so it's a little bit more defensive. They'll be able to protect themselves a little bit better. This is the one with the couple extra guys that bring it to 25 in order to uh, get into combat. Um, as for special, special kinds of dwarves besides warriors, because, uh, you know, everything is 
really pushes the boundary of like what I'm willing to spend points wise and money wise. We're going with the first unit of Slayers, 210 points. These guys, uh, what can I say? They're awesome. If you kill them, they automatically wound you. They can choose whether or not they're using a great weapon or a brace of weapons. Not to mention these guys, uh, they may only be weapon skill 4, but they're just cheap and they're better than the... Pound for pound, they're better than every special choice they've got. Iron Drakes, you name it. Uh, iron Breakers, Hammers, and Long Beards. Not to mention, uh, they're still better than the Miners, too. Uh, these guys are just unbreakable. They'll fight to the last man. I've got them in this kind of a tray because they're going to deny an area or a flank or something. But I, you always rank them up just as wide as you can and make a line of slayers and then the whole key is to get off counter charges from the sides to help the slayers out basically in back where the heroes are we just got a unit of miners uh, I did my best on gathering up these guys there are a lot of dumb British dudes that think these things are worth something and uh, I'm not paying more than a dollar a figure for them that, there you go and every single miner I got there, I did not pay more than a dollar fi a figure for. So, you know, I got some of them who don't have candles anymore, but uh, there you go. I refuse to pay more than a dollar a figure for the dwarf miner model, especially when they are part of Skull Pass for so long. And uh, the miners are actually armed with uh, the steam drill that will allow them to reroll to come back, and a banner and a champion. So here we are. Got a unit of uh, warriors with great weapons, straight up, just 10 of them. This is a counter charge regiment. This is what you would park on the side of your uh, dwarf warrior lord's unit or the slayer's unit to kind of get a flank charge off because you are strength 6 on the charge now. That's pretty good. And depending on what grudge you have, you might even have hatred. And that's the whole point of these guys. Whole point of a unit like this is a chaff regiment. They're, 90, they're 100 points with a musician, and that makes them leadership 10 to rally. You can basically use these guys as fodder to draw out fanatics as well. And uh, you can also use, uh, you can, and these guys are really good for that too. The, uh, the Thunderers and everything because uh, they can't take a great weapon. So basically when goblins start to get close and or everything or you have a giant mangler squig that you got to get rid of, throw these guys at them jump on top of that mangler squig because once you're within six inches of the enemy these guys are just basically bodies on the field and they become instant chaff regiment right there uh, crossbows are a little bit different crossbows have the useful option of the great weapon so that's why there's two units of 12 and they've all been upgraded to have the great weapon simply because strength six counter charge is awesome and uh, you might need it and then last but not least, we have the final unit of Dwarf Slayers. Now, I went very Slayer heavy. As a matter of fact, if I had to choose another uh, regiment or something like that, I'm going to bring another 20 Slayers. That would make 60 Slayers strong. Again, Iron Breakers are good, but they're just not, they're not great, and they're like 15 points a guy. Uh, what do you call it? Hammers are good. The Stubborn is awesome, but they're like 15 points a guy. The uh, Longbeards are pretty good. Uh, they they kind of break even on the points at about 13. But uh, all three of those that I just mentioned, the Iron Breakers, the Longbeard models, not to mention the Hammers, they're just really super expensive points-wise, and they're really super expensive money-wise. And I wasn't re willing to pay the money. Now, the problem is that a lot of people bought these models and never opened them so they're very abundant I don't think I spent more than two hundred and fifty dollars to get all of my slayers as a matter of fact I know I didn't even spend anywhere close to 200 I think I might have spent a hundred dollars for my first set of slayers so a box of uh, I got a box of 10 for 50 and a box of 10 for 50 and then I got both box oh yeah so a hundred and I got them for 170, which is pretty good. Um, seeing as other pewter sculpts and everything, because I got it for 35 and 35 my next two boxes, which is really good because that comes into comes in under retail from back in the day when they were fifty dollars a box. And then uh, I also have the uh, 
I have the gumption to get an organ gun at some point, but this whole force here, I'm just gonna go commando for a second. This whole dwarf force here is 171 models. This is everything I got, and it is 3,009 points the way I've got it here, so I will take it. Um, we're just gonna get a little bit of a close up on the miners here. We didn't get too close to them before. Yeah, I cheated, there's only 19 of them. Again, don't pay more than a dollar per model for those guys. Uh, I hope this video will crash the value on those guys. Painted up the banner bearer tomorrow. Like I said, I have one more model left to paint. It's an alternate Lord model. I've got my uh, Demon Slayer here, my two cannons. Now the point of the cannons, they're basically just there to soften a target or hurt a monster. And uh, I'm gonna use them later on for late game, late game play simply because, oh, it's turn six. I'm gonna hit you with grape shot because you've already come through my lines and everything. So if you move these things away when the enemy starts getting too close, because I'm gonna park them next to the units of warriors, uh, you're gonna set them up for a late game Hail Mary play. Like grape shot, grape shot, grape shot, which is something that you get to re-roll if you roll a misfire. And uh, you get to use the uh, ballistic skill of the engineer if he's near both cannons. So that's something to think about right there. Uh, the uh, handgunners again are just a chaff unit. They have the handgun. Congratulations, you're minus two to armor, but you're still not going to kill any more uh, than you normally would. Not to mention, you got the uh, crossbow, the quellers over there. Those guys, pretty badass with the great weapons. But the slayers, I really think that they're the way to go. They will fight to the last man. And it's like getting, and like I said, if I could, I would bring another unit of 30 of the, uh, another unit of 20 of them. Maybe go up to 3,500 points in dwarves, but at 171 models, I'm pretty happy with this mo with this army. And there you have it, Internet. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the dwarf showcase. If there's something I missed, let me know. Uh, just not much going on right now. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, which will be a pike and shot battle report. But until I see you again, as you know, YouTube has many features you can use to interact with me. You can like the video, dislike the video, comment, or subscribe. But until I see you again... Keep fighting, keep playing, and keep painting, and stay metal, my friends. Oh, look at you. Where are you going, huh? And wave to the general. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> he likes this. And stay metal, my friends. Went on. I friggin' sold out. It's better to burn out than to fade away. Whoa, whoa, whoa.